What's up, homies of the interwebs? Lug Nuts Grapple coming at you from Maverick Harley Davidson. This is where you should buy your motorcycle, by the way, just in case you're wondering if you're in the Dallas area or if you're down in Grand Prairie, Arlington, whatever, go to Longhorn Harley Davidson. But uh, I'm not really here to do an ad or more than just you know, talk about that bike back there. For some reason, the Fat Boy and the Road King is the most requested motorcycles that people ask me to review. I and I couldn't really like make sense of it all. Then I realized that in the modern era, the Fat Boy and the Road King Classic, or standard in this case, are the most iconic Harley Davidsons of the modern era. And of course, while we're not talking about the Fat Boy now, we will get to it later. Uh, we're gonna talk about this fat pig back there, or hog, I meant fat hog, because that thing weighs about little over 800 pounds of course it's not as heavy as an ultra limited which is you know about 100 pounds more than that but uh let's dig into it all right so uh before we get to it roll that intro Since its introduction in 1994, I believe it's 94, somewhere in the mid 90s, this thing was introduced, not this one particularly, this is 2019, but because the 2020 is no different, well, you know, this is just as good as an example. But being introduced in the, in the 90s, let's just say 90s to generalize, uh, not much has changed. I mean, yes, things have changed, the frame has changed, the motor has changed. Aesthetically, very mild changes, and uh, just look at it. It looks. Ah, ah. It's the Road King is that old school cowboy man in a very fancy suit, polo tie, and uh, for some reason really likes shiny things. And I don't really know who that is back there. Ruining my shot. I think that was chief. Maybe I'm wrong. Anyways, as I was saying, this is the reliable man that likes shiny things, chrome everywhere. And uh, unlike its son, the Road King Special, who decided to leave the country and go into the city, became a hipster, used all kinds of beard oils and waxes, and decided to wear a suit with no tie. Well, they're both just equally as cool. So with a ground clearance about of average of 27 because 26 is like laden and 28 unladen. I mean, I'm about six foot and this, I can flat foot this all day long. It is comfortable and it is absolutely a joy to ride. So before we get into the actual test ride, um, roll that clip. That would have been bad. Oh my goodness, it is hot, hot, hot outside. Texas in the summer. Woo! Mm -mm -mm. This particular one has 1,533 miles and it is for sale. You can call this dealership at that number. And I'm pretty sure someone is going to take great care of you. The only thing that's been done to this Road King is slip-ons, and it sounds marvelous. There are Benson Hines slip-ons. Usually not the biggest fan of their product, but hey, that's just personal preference. <laughs> oh, that M8, man, makes this bike feel weightless. I didn't mention about 800 pounds total, give or take. It's a little over 800 pounds for this this thing and oh boy oh boy oh boy <laughs> do you not feel it this fat hog hog not pig <laughs> uh, you go around corners just like this little s curve right here and it just feels oh so smooth very very smooth uh, yeah obviously the powertrain is a lot smoother than the twin cam version and uh, it pays dividends especially on longer trips and not only that, just the amount of torque that comes 
in this motor just from factory is insane <laughs> uh, now when I I need everybody to understand this every time that in my channel I say this is a fast motorcycle it is fast for what it is because a lot of people are like that ain't no Kawasaki H2 that ain't no you know, ZX10, ZX4 T Ducati Panigal yes oh shut up for what this bike is which is a classic American tour <laughs> It is pretty darn quick and especially once you do a stage one, oh man, this this motor is so deprived because of EPA restrictions is not even funny. Second of all, Harley has always done that. So Harley's always left a lot of juice left in that powertrain. And with this one, it is no exception. As a matter of fact, there is so much more power to unlock on an M8 than there ever was in a twin cam. It doesn't take much. Yeah, say you do a 124 kit, like an SNS 124 kit, or even Harley's recent kit, and man, the power is just insane. <laughs> so going over those railroad tracks, I just realized one of the downfalls of the Row King, and not just the Row King, but every single touring model that they have, and I'm not including the Heritage, even though Harley insists on adding the Heritage to that lineup is the shocks are garbage compared to what's out there absolute garbage and here is why so if you were to take both saddlebags out and see the springs and put them side by side you will notice that one side has an adjustment uh, knob on it and a very very fat spring going all the way around and then the other side has a very miserable looking spring and it is a very small small thin spring and i mean don't get me wrong stock shocks very comfortable you start going to like i don't know tell of the dragon and that i mean granted again not designed to be super aggressive even though you have the whole performance bagger scene going out there they're making bikes do what they weren't designed to do which is fine that's all what hard is about is making it your own and pushing the limits and just making it custom right so i have no beef with that but if you were to take this out and be aggressive with it maybe the suspension is not the best for that it is great for going a straight line taking some mild turns here and there but if you wanted if you really wanted to get the best out of this bike you would most definitely have to change those at least the rear shocks now in my opinion this bike stage two that's all you need even from factory it is plenty of power for what this is again it is a touring motorcycle very comfortable it looks fantastic i did a video uh months and months ago and i got trashed for choosing i showed between three motorcycles around the same price range the electric light standard the road king and the heritage and i picked the electric light standard because I just like the fairing, I like having the stereo, I like being able to upgrade and already have that blank canvas. Not to say you can't do that with the Roking, eh, I just have already owned an electric light standard and I know that I would prefer it in the long run. When it comes to looks, oh, the Mexican within me knows that this is the right motorcycle. <laughs> with, that, with that said, um, Again, a very, very, very good looking motorcycle. It is a very heavy motorcycle, but it does not feel very heavy. The, obviously the brakes, Brembo brakes, obviously that doesn't show it on there, but they're actually made by Brembo, which is pretty awesome that all their models have that. Uh, if you want a classic tourer, something that is comfortable, reliable, and oh, by the way, trailing forks on this bad mamma jamma, and what that means is the forks sit behind the neck and there is a reason why police units are based off of the Roking or the electric light standard it's not really called an electric light standard but you know what i'm saying doing tight turns maneuverability i mean it is absolutely phenomenal on the touring platform and as if you think about it is basically an fxr if you're not familiar with fxrs do your research 
it is a very sought after motorcycle and the frame is kind of basically the same for the most part the design is very similar obviously different size and a couple adjustments here and there but i mean it is a very maneuverable motorcycle it is a very comfortable motorcycle and if you want something bare bones stripped down something like this is for you the road king and is it the king of the american open road well yes it is and it's established itself as it just by having people write it so <laughs> that's all i got for you guys if you like this channel go ahead and subscribe click that notification bell and like this video share and well until i see you next time get on your harley and get some wind therapy later